All right, check this out. I can uninstall Microsoft Edge in my Windows 11 because I have the Europe mode enabled in this. So I've actually made a video in this uh, about a month ago. Maybe you guys already know about this. So basically, Microsoft is now being forced to comply with the Digital Market Act in European countries. So because of that, you can uninstall Microsoft Edge and many other system components if you live in uh, any of the European countries. But if you don't live in Europe, then you won't get this feature. So basically you won't be able to uninstall Microsoft Edge plus some other extra features what the European countries will have. It's not like you can't get this feature in any country you can you basically have to reinstall windows and then select your country or region to any of the eea countries and you'll be good you'll get all the windows 11 european features but uh, now there is a tool called microsoft edge redirect originally this tool was for something else like redirecting the links uh, like search widgets weathers and all that but now it has a new feature called uh, Europe mode yeah here it is so using this you can simply enable Europe mode or in simple words change the uh, devices country region to a European country so simply go to this official github page and download this tool it's ms edge redirect exe file it's only one megabyte I have already downloaded this so go to the downloads folder and then run this just double click on it or right click agree next and here it is so now if you want to enable the Europe mode simply click on the Europe mode or select that option and it will also give you the little bit of description what it does it actually uses the native windows feature to do all the things all right so there is nothing to be worried about and there are some other settings that you can play with but uh, let's just talk about the Europe mode all right uh, because it's a new thing i think recently this uh, feature was added to this tool i never knew about this tool until now select that if you want to enable the europe mode and then click on next you have to run it as the administrator to apply these settings and in here since i have already done this you can see default region id is de which is the germany all right user region id is us which doesn't matter whatever you select this is the main thing uh, default region id needs to be one of the european countries so germany is one of the countries you can click on this set all to select eea countries just like that and then uh, you'll see new values when you apply these settings let's say for example your default region id was us it will change it to uh, Germany you can also select the other countries but this is the default one and digital markets act actually works in Germany so just leave it as it is and then click on save and then you have to restart your PC and then you'll have all the uh, Windows 11 European features all right uh, one more thing as of me making this video this feature isn't actually available it is available but you may have to enable it so uh, you can see even this tool says you may need to enable this via Vive tool. Uh, these are the IDs. So there is this tool called uh, Vive tool. Download it and then extract it and put it into your C drive. Uh, I have even renamed it here. Now uh, look for CMD. I'm going to look for CMD, run it as administrator. All right i think i need to yeah now we need to enable these features in here okay first we're gonna go here cd c colon slash vive okay once we do that we need to enter these ids in here and make sure that you have the latest windows 11 updates installed once you have it then you'll be able to uh, enable these features all right so basically you enter these in here boom now restart your pc then you'll have 
this feature. Again, you don't actually have to do this if you're watching this video after a month or two or whenever this, uh, you know, uh, Windows 11 updates comes out and all the features are enabled for European countries. Okay, so once this thing is out, you don't have to follow the second step. Just follow this if you don't live in one of the European countries and uh, yeah, you'll have the Windows 11 European features. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. Actually, I forgot to do uh, the thing that I was showing you guys in the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to do this. Actually, I like Microsoft Edge. Uh, you can see in my main machine, I do actually use Microsoft Edge. Okay, it's even pinned in my taskbar because I use it. But some people don't like it. Uh, and I don't actually always use Microsoft Edge, but I do use it sometime. So it's good to have a freedom. That's all I'm trying to say here. So basically you can actually uninstall microsoft edge oh, okay okay i need to close the background processes of the microsoft edge okay i can see it here you you sneaky <laughs> okay now i should be able to uninstall it yeah just like that also clear my browsing history boom it's it's gone it's a freedom that we needed okay <laughs> and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it again if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye